Hello in YouTube land. Armando here with another exciting review. Well, it's not that exciting, but hold on. Look what I found today. Da, 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 da. Ah, yes, look. It's a super mech armor with accessories. Exo Battlesuit with action figure by Lenard. And look. He's a man right there. You see my camera? You see my fingers? <laughs> hey, that bug's still there. Look. Oh, no. Well, this is the other mech. I found it. And it was exactly... Look at that. The Core Elite. It was exactly $4. Oh, right here. Look. Only at Walmart. Yes, folks. Only at Walmart. Now, look at the back. See, that's a picture of the mech that I reviewed last time. And today, by luck, on clearance, the only one in the store was the other mech. So now I have one of each, which is pretty awesome. And it's got this uh, this pretty cool new style. Look, it's got like a metal rivet here and a little uh, very sturdy plastic hook thing. I love the way they do that. And yes, look, right there, three sad onions. Why, oh, why onions are you sad? That's a shout out to Stuart Ashens across the pond. Hello, Stuart Ashens. Everybody go to his channel. Give him more views. Look, the core hq.com. Or you can say the core, but look, C O R P S H Q. I don't know if you have to capitalize, but it doesn't matter. All caps. It's probably it's still working lowercase. And then there's Lenard. And on the bottom, tells you how to stick the figure in the cockpit, how to remove the screws and throw them away. Now, let's see if we can open this sucker up. All right, I'm going to zoom the camera here sideways. And we're going to get specialist equipment. Look, yes, folks, it's the box cutter of freedom. Uh, how did I open this last time? I don't know. Let me see. I think it was a side cut. Yeah, this cello tape, uh, somewhere around here at the bottom. Uh, ah, okay. Look. Cello tape on top, right here. Right there. You circumcise it right here. See, get the knife. Oh no, there goes cello tape. Okay. And, let's see, hold the camera up. Okay, unboxing time. Uh, well, ah, cello tape on the spot. Oh, no, let's see. Okay. Okay, that wasn't uh, very helpful. Bear with me, folks. I just want to show you how difficult this shit is to get into. It's quite difficult. Well, no, the box cutter of freedom has fallen. <laughs> uh, Alright. Damn it. Well, I guess we're not going to have an opening today. Yeah, we are. There's subtle tape on the side right here. See this right here? That's what's causing the problems. So we we'll slice it there, slice it here, and then, ah, yes, look. Now it's opening up like a book. All right. We got that top open. I got that one open. Okay. All right, folks, that's what you got to do. You got to open the sides and the top. 
And you need a screwdriver underneath here. Uh, Phillips head. And uh, hold on, I'm gonna look at my through my drawer. Hey, look, I have AC pan tablets. You see this thing? If your air conditioner starts to clog up and you get slime in it, throw like three of these in in the back through the vents. Just kind of stick a screwdriver in there. Dump in there. You can get these at uh, Home Depot for three dollars and forty eight cents plus tax. There's six in a pack, and um, make sure the drain line is not clogged. So you want to stick a coat hanger in there, clean it out, or screwdriver. Or if it's foam, kind of dig that foam out of there a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. This will solve your problem. It starts throwing water inside your room. Little uh, tip there. <laughs> Little HVAC tip there. All right. Uh, ah, here we go. A screwdriver. The one I use for GI Joes. Okay. That's the drawer of mystery. Okay. You, you uh, stick it in here. Oh, you see my hairy knuckles? Or hairy knuckles. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Damn. Hold on. Every time I turn the screw, which is, I guess I use a electric screwdriver, it turns the leg on the mech. I guess they would never finish if they're doing these by hand. Ah, okay. Ah, look at that. I got an extra screw. Look, I burnt some of these knuckle hairs off. Hey, what's that stuff on the... Is that the monitor or is that the camera? What the hell? Oh no, it's, some, it's my monitor. <laughs> There's some crap on the screen. I will have to clean that off. Okay. This. Uh, there's another screw behind it. Okay. Look at this. See the screw right there? Okay. What a ridiculous position. Alright. Now. That one came out pretty quick. Quick. Alright. Ah, the mech has fallen out. Very cool. Okay. And now we got this guy. We're going to need the craft scissors of freedom. I don't have this guy. Now I do. I forgot his name. And the craft scissors of freedom are nowhere to be found. Okay. Bear with me, folks. Look at the mech. Let me see if I can find the craft scissors of freedom. Oh, yep. Yeah. There they are. Over there. Okay, I got them. Uh, okay, let me see. Eight minutes in. Screw it. We're going to overtime. Okay, these are in with the security tie, so raise the arms up on the figure. Um... Just cut the security tie, and he'll come out. Okay, great. All right, now throw that on the floor. Put the craft of the freedom away. And here we go. All right. Look, he's got the cursed skull on his arm. See that? Uh, fully posable. Got a weird head on him. Looks like a... <laughs> just looks weird. They should have just made a mean-looking guy with, like, a flat top or something. But he's got, like, a hood on or something. Kind of strange. Got a gun belt. Uh, bends at the knees. Sculpt's kind of weird. Gun's molded into the side there. 
They should tool that off and make the gun actually slip into a holster. That'd be cool. Hey, but these retail for two dollars, so what do you expect, right? Okay, so drop that guy there. All right, this mech. Uh, well, I don't have to put the machine, the the Gatling gun on it like the other one. I have to actually add the Gatling gun on the other one. Oh no, I do have to add it on. Huh? I'll, I'll do it last. Okay. Ah, uh, look, cardboard cutout of the dude. Ah, uh, there he is. See? Pretty cool. I'll put that in the the box of special figures. The box of purgatory. And I'll... Uh, let me see. How we get this in here? One leg up, maybe? There's no uh, elegant way to do this, so... Okay. Okay, that's what you got to do like that. You got to kind of pry his legs apart. The other figure, I understand well, that's why they put the rubber bands on him to uh, spread his legs. I guess while the plastic is hot out of the mold, it's still a little pliable, so you can kind of let it cool in an open position. Oh, these would be cool. I wish I had a real mech suit like that. Okay, this snaps in. See, ball joint right here in the back. And then uh, the arms go forward. Okay, see? And it the claw opens up. Well, this would be a hell of a tool to, to trim your trees in the back. And now that my pole trimmer is broken, it would be great. I could just use the mini gun to trim them. And uh, use the saw to kind of like pretty it up. Oh, you, you see the bug on the screen there? And it would be cool. It looks got a turbine. I guess it uses a turbine. Or maybe they fly like an Iron Man type of thing. Like, it's the Mark I from the curse. <laughs> it's uh, Hammer Industries, right? All right. There you go. Maybe I should do it this way. There you go. See that? Ta da! All right, folks, there you go. Thumbnail. Oh, there you go. And then, uh, just for reference, here's Spock. And Sarah Connor. <laughs> All right, folks. That's how long are we in? 14 minutes in. That's the mech from the curse line. From the, well, the bad guys from the, the, the core versus the curse. And it looks pretty cool. And you get a cardboard cut out of this guy, you see? He's the one inside the suit there. So yeah, look. 
See how that looks? <laughs> okay, 15 minutes in, guys. If you like videos like this, hit subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a comment below, and I'll get back to you on, uh, through my cell phone usually during the day. And whenever I post a video, I'll check my other comments, and I'll usually respond to everyone. And if I have missed anyone, I'm sorry. I just, uh, I just missed it. <laughs> so, I guess I'll see you on the next video, guys. Uh, all right, right here. Kill.